Okay, so this is the um, the light mod that I've done to this fish tank. Yeah, the original that came with this was uh, it was it, why the lighting was okay. Um, it just wasn't good enough, really. And uh, so I've uh, come up with this. Um, really easy to do. Anybody can do it. Uh, it cost me around about under under twenty pounds to uh, build the lamp itself was uh, uh, nine pounds free postage off eBay I have the box somewhere uh, it's a uh, desk lamp with a little clip on the back on the, the end of it so you can clip it to stuff um, so that's the one I use you can use any sort of desk lamp um, I was just going to clip it onto the back of here but um the clip was quite big, so uh, I decided to do a proper job of it anyway. Um, so I'll just quickly tell you, show you how, how I did it. I uh, took the original one off. Um, just don't. You take these two bits apart. Your fish tank might be different, but if you've got the same one as me, I'll, I'll just tell you how, how to do it. You unscrew this off. Um, make this hole slightly bigger for this. Put this in in the hole and then you put a bolt on underneath it under the other side inside and then I filled all this with uh, car body filler and then uh, put that on the back of it on screwed it tight so all the body filler squirted around the sides and uh, wait till that's set and this is nice and tight that's not going anywhere now and there uh, you can bend it um, <coughs> to get the the right angle you want um, and my camera um, doesn't show it, but um, I'll just tell you the which leads I used as well. If you can see there, um, I've changed one of the leads for a blue one. Um, I'll just unscrew this. I have to be careful because it's slightly hot. There we go. You can see it more. Um, you can buy these uh, these lights. This off eBay. They're about two pound from China. Uh, if you're in the UK, they're slightly cheaper. I think they're about eight pound. Uh, so I bought this one from China. Um, it didn't come with the blue lead. I, I had to swap that lead over myself. Uh, but this is um, a, a day daylight. It's called not the uh, warm warm white. It's daylight or cold white as it's normally normally known. Um, you just simply take these screws out here. Uh, this comes off with these glass with these glass covers as well. Uh, you desolder the, the leads and replace them with um, I'll just show you which ones they have um, these sort of leads um, these, um, I bought five of these again from China um, I think it was about a pound <coughs> you just desolder these off and uh, replace them straight into there. Uh, I only did one of them because that's all you need. You only want a tint of blue. Um, so I'll just turn this light on. Um, so this is an E14, uh, a small screw in. I'll just show you. Uh, depending on what light fitting you get, um, here you go, that's the light fitting I got. Um, it has the, the converter built inside of here. Um, to run these leads because these leads are there you go you can see there look the two yellow ones are the white leads and that white one is a blue lead um, the converter is built inside of these so it's 240 volts in here the converter converts it all to um, I think this is 9 watts yeah to 9 watts they're 3 watts each these leads and there's 3 of them um, this is a 10 litre tank 9 watts is fine bright enough um, if you want to go bigger, uh, 12 watts uh, you can do. I might give 12 watts a go, but uh, don't go no lower than 9 watts if you've got a 10 litre tank like mine or bigger. So I'll just screw it back in one way or another. There you go. <coughs> and uh, bend this down into the position that I want. It's as easy as that, really. Um, so the lamp cost me about ten pound free postage, and the bulb cost me uh, two pound. I think it was from China. 
and then um, five of them leads for a quid, so it's under twenty pounds, and you can pay double that for a, a, a proper replacement one, which is not as good as this. You know, this is um, my camera's not really picking the uh, colour up at the minute. My tank's a little bit misty because uh, I've just done a uh, slight water change, and uh, but I'll just try and turn off the light and see if you can see. Nice, it's not even you can't see it that well. But uh you can you can see that you get that shivering effect as well from the LEDs, which is really nice. Um people have comment, commented and thought I was using them metal halides. Um <laughs> and then they look underneath there and they see that them three LEDs and they're, they're amazed. Um definitely worth doing if you want decent lighting in your nano tank. I can say this is a 10 litre, this is only a fry tank, um, 9 watts is fine for this, it's really bright, uh, as you can probably see the coral sand's gone all white look from the camera, it is really bright, um, I might change the two white LEDs for 10,000 Ks, uh, see what that looks like, but if you just want to keep it simple, just replace one of the LEDs with the blue, if you didn't replace them with all the blue, the uh, the light is um, sort of yellow, just turning yellow. Um, so that's what that blue one. When you're adding to that, it it gets rid of that sort of like yellow look. Um, but yeah, it's as easy as that. Um, nice and solid. This doesn't get warm. Um, you can keep your hand on that. But the bulb inside, um, I did a temperature test um, the other day for about half an hour and it got up to around about 50 celsius so you don't really want to be keeping your hands on that lead in there on that bulb because it will get hot but uh, this has been running for about a week now and it's it's set on timers and that and it's it's been fine um, you can see the uh, colours of the fishes as well these are um, yellow labs uh, cichlids um, the uh, yellow really does pop out under this, this light um, so whether you've got marine or uh, fresh water like me, um, it's, it's definitely what you want. The lighting is anyway. Um, it's a shame my camera don't pick it up very well. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's as easy as that. Um, I don't think it looks too bad. Um, once I've changed this to black, this back side there, uh, where all the filters and the heaters is, um, I think it'll look alright. Um, not to excuse the mess. Um, but yeah, once I've got all the other bits changed to black, I think that'll look really nice. Um, I ain't quite got that straight. There we go. Mess about with that later. But uh, yeah, so it's a cheaper way to do it. And um, like I say, you can buy. Um, you can buy the upgraded ones for these tanks, and they're about twenty to thirty-five pounds and the normal leads they're not these kind of leads these are like Cree leads um, and the replacements you buy are just normal leads um, these leads are a lot better they give a lot more um, they're a lot a lot more brighter but uh, they do give off some heat but um, there's no heat actually underneath here because obviously this is perspex it's plastic so and it's not even hot underneath there so uh, and it's not affecting my temperature temperatures of my uh, my water. Um, I got a temperature sensor somewhere here. Where is it? Um, yeah, 28, 26.8. But uh, this is slightly off. It should. This is actually dead on 26.1, not 20, 26.8. But that's because this is just a cheap, a cheap readout that I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace. I reckon. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, just get one of them and put it in take the old one off this is the old fitting that came with the fish tank that had the original light on I don't know if I've got that light actually somewhere maybe compare it somewhere where is it oh, there we go I've just found it so you can that's what was an originally I was using that came with the tank crap I think it's about 1 watts and this is 9 watts so it's a big difference, um, and that just went into the where that the new one is now. I just took this off. 
there's the bolt there look as you can see um, so yeah this will go in the bin now and uh, that's taking its place and it's working just fine obviously make a water loop um, for the cable for this this light because uh, it is uh, 240 volts right up to the point in there but uh, it should be fine